if you see this video and you're going through something that I'm going through, I hope you can gain solace in the fact that you're not alone. I'm feeling, you know, less than stellar. And the old me would try to run away from this feeling, but there's lots of lessons to be gleaned from being where I currently am. It just feels impossible to want to do anything. All the joy of living just seems to have been zapped of intrigue. It feels lonely. It feels like we're the only one in the world going through this. Now this video isn't going to be as polished as they usually are but this is real this is me I'm speaking to you from where I'm at it's easier to be vulnerable with these experiences when you've been able to go through them and overcome them but I'm in the midst of everything right now trying to work through why I feel this gray overwhelm trying to work through why I feel dull now before I continue I just want to preface this video by saying that I am by no means a psychologist, I'm not a therapist, I'm just some guy on YouTube offering my opinion on this type of dull feeling. Having said that, what I'm talking about today can really resonate with many people who might be going through the same thing and who might be lacking the usual enthusiasm they have towards living. I have this persona on this channel of being an eternal optimist, someone who wants others to live the best possible lives, someone who sees the potential in someone rather than the faults. The person that I am today too is another version of me, but not a version that I tend to share on camera. And when I feel this way, I, I just can't help but feel this deep sense of guilt because I just, I have a loving family. I I'm healthy, I'm in a good place, and when I experience these feelings, I feel a desire to run away from these thoughts. But what if that's the wrong approach? What if when we're in this state, what if that's the world trying to show us something, trying to tell us to just slow down? The goal always seems to be to get rid of these bad feelings, to try to feel happy all the time, but maybe that's the wrong objective. I always look for a way out. I always look for a way to fill the voids in my life. And a quick search on YouTube will show you the same thing. It's all about overcoming anxiety, how to deal with depression, how to power through. But what if it's not about any of that and instead it's actually the opposite? It's about not trying and just letting yourself be, letting yourself be in those feelings and those emotions so you can work through them to learn why you're feeling those ways. There's something to that, just letting go, letting go of the thought that we need to be productive, letting go of the thought of who we want to become and just being where you are, free from any objectives, any to-do lists, any expectations from other people. It's hard for me because I've been conditioned to power through to put these feelings aside, to keep pushing, keep going, keep giving my all. But truth be told, I'm very overwhelmed. I struggle with taking breaks. It's causing me to shut down. Not giving myself permission to just chill leads to me feeling bad for my lack of action. I feel a need to be in control of every moment of every part of my every days, but there's something to just letting go and just letting the world show you what you should be doing instead of your to-do list showing you what you should be doing. And it's very hard for me to talk about this because it's something that feels taboo to talk about. Videos like this may make people feel like I'm not in a good place, might make people question the validity of the things I teach. But what if this is how many people feel but we just have been conditioned not to express our internal worlds? It's the time of year where I've got projects due, finals are coming up, I have lots of shifts at work, I am putting these videos out consistently, I want to be working out consistently, 
and I have all of these different things I wish to accomplish. Something somewhere is just saying, hey man, you just, you need to slow down. You need to go back to the basics. You need to just be. And in trying to understand these feelings, I just opened up my journal yesterday and just let myself write free of judgment, free of expecting anyone to ever see it. Although I didn't gain necessarily clarity on the reason why I'm feeling this way, I, I asked lots of questions that really made me start to think about why not just myself, but people around the world consistently have these feelings of inadequacy, have these feelings where they question the point of living, they question why we exist, they question their daily routine. And what I've learned through this experience is that it's okay to feel how I feel. It's normal to feel how I feel. And if you see this video and you're going through something that I'm going through, I hope you can gain solace in the fact that you're not alone. You have people, you have a whole support cast. And if you just go and speak to loved ones or you speak to a friend that you confide in or you seek help if it's gotten to that point, that's okay, that, that, that should be normalized. And last night I, I called my girlfriend and we just had this great conversation we call every night. And it just made me feel better. I could feel this cloud on myself just lifting up. And I started to just gain a little bit more clarity on the reason I'm in this position I'm in. Our solution is always to try to fix everything that we're going through. We try to try this new system. We try this new diet. We change our environment. And while self-development is vital, a lot of the time it's just, it leads to feelings of inadequacy within ourselves. These are not easy topics to talk about, but if you're watching this now, that means that all the trauma you've experienced in your life, all the negative experiences, all the stress you've endured, you have survived it all, and you're lucky enough to be living watching this video now. And I'm grateful for you being here. And I really hope that this message this week was, was resonant for you. Just wanted to give you permission to give yourself some slack. You're probably doing much better than you think you are. And it's okay to just take a break. Just be where you are. Just a second. I had something I wanted to, to grab here. This, my friends, is a visual sign to have a break, have a Kit Kat. I think that's all I wanted to say this week. You got this.